Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here with my new phone. <laughs> and so this is the first video that I am filming with this new phone and so we will see how this works. This is my large ephemeral holder and I am going to go ahead and I know that we still need to do an envelope. So I'm gonna come into the pocket that we made here and find an envelope. Ooh, I like that one. That that will match really well. Maybe two. Ooh, here's a little one. I like that, it says Thrive. Possibly this one. Okay, so when we're looking. So these are the envelope bases that we made in the part two of this challenge. And we've filled this with all of those fun items. I think we'll go ahead and grab a tag, um, maybe two tags, okay? Grab these, maybe three, maybe four. Because um, we're gonna need something to put, to put in it as well. So depending on time, and um, we'll see how, how many we get to do. So this is the journal. We are going to need some little something here. wonder if any of those are small enough. Look at that. That's actually small enough as extra that could go in there. Okay, so that's, I'm going to leave that there. We'll, we'll probably decorate that. Okay, so when I put the um, quilting page in, I was thinking that I could go ahead and put an envelope or something to cover up the artist there. I love this. Look, we've got the pink there and the pink here. So let's see, which one do I like? Ooh, I kind of, I think we'll go with this one, okay? And so the first thing is we need to go ahead and put that in. So hopefully we'll have, hopefully the glue will come down. So, yes. So I am going to be learning the new phone. Um, it has awesome features. It has 128 gig of memory, which is huge <laughs> for for me and it has three cameras and a telephoto so at the end of this you'll get to see the telephoto with the birds um, in the nest and um, what else it's, uh, battery life really good battery life <laughs> so also my other phone was um, not not holding a charge so it was time okay so we're just gonna hold this down now um, we have to decorate this with at least three items like we have on this one I chose to have some um, journaling space there on the inside So, and as you know, I've been enjoying using the fabric as part of the, the um, decorations for this. I'm actually thinking, okay, so I'm thinking I might go ahead and make a tab here as one of my, one of my embellished mint items. Usually... I usually do tell you that you have to embellish in some way. Three, do three embellishments to your items. Um, and depending on what the challenge is, tells you what kind of things that those three things can be. This time we have our scrap buster list. And so you use items from that list. And you had to use at least one from each category somewhere in your journal. I've already done that. So now I'm just using whatever I want from that list. 
And my favorite thing has been the fabric. My favorite thing is not the glue at this moment though. <laughs> but it does such a good job and it dries fast. So this is the the fabric tack glue is what I'm using here. Maybe if I lay it on its side it'll make it a little faster. I don't know. Okay. There we go. So that's one. And I like that. I like the way that looks like that. Okay. Um, we're, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. So let's go ahead and I think piece of the lace coming off the edge there might be kind of cool. So this has been a really fun and different challenge this time. Um, oh, I have a piece of the scrappy lace here. I'm wondering if that, I mean, the it's the ruffle. Scrappy ruffle. Scrappy ruffle. Right here, scrappy ruffle. And I'm putting down the lace. And... Okay. We may have a barking dog. We may have a dog join us. Probably not, because it's probably Chip that he's... Tom is um, letting in the dog, because he... It's working on the sprinklers and Chip thinks that he needs to bark at the sprinklers. So there we go. One, two, three. I kind I like that. I mean, I like it a lot. And then the other thing is can, whenever I add this lace, we can add a little charm or bead or something. So I have another one of the charms from, okay, so this little charm, we'll just add that onto this piece of lace. Charm onto this piece of lace. And he really doesn't like it when his dad puts him in and his dad goes out. <laughs> Okay, so there, there's our little envelope. We've added those fun little items. And then, let's see about, oh, that one, that one's already ready. So this is one of the ones that, that we did with the um, napkin that we decoupaged. So, just gonna cut that off. Put that right in here. Perfect. Okay, and then since we've done the tab down there, let's go ahead and we'll add a little bit of this fabric to the top up there. And we could go ahead and add, I like that, but I'd, I think we'll save that. We don't have very much of that. That's the last piece of that lace. Oh, my cool ruler's down here blocking the, the path of progress, the opening of the drawer actually. Okay. Okay, just go ahead and staple that down. Put that right, right in there. Okay, there's that. Okay, so there's one pocket. And we have this one as well. Okay, I'm thinking we'll put this one on here. can't because it needs to be a pocket that won't be a big enough actually we've already put it in as a pocket 
I can show you other ways you can use a pocket. I'm going to use a pocket here on this um, flap, this little flip flop flap. Now we can make it a pocket. We just go ahead instead of making the, the big pocket, it can be this little pocket. And this can go on the flip flop flap. And I'm going to do this because I don't want to get glue. Okay. Okay, so that can go like that. And while that is drying, and we could have also, we could have made it so that it was here. Um... I'm going to go ahead and how can I put that down? If I staple it down here, it can act like a Yeah, we're going to staple it. Okay, so we're going to staple it here. here and here okay so that will be on there still this will be a little tuck spot that you could put something in here okay so that will be a little tuck spot we'll have this space here and we'll have this area here that we can go ahead and put something in as well Lots of pocket spaces because I love pockets and I cannot lie. Okay, so let's turn this over. And I am going to cut into this little pocket, but just a little bit so that you can tell. Well, maybe a little bit more than that. <laughs> that there is a place to put something under here. There's the chipster. There's the chipster. He came in. Hi, Chip. Hi, chip -a -rooney. Okay, so, um, I want to put a flip-flop in here. I know. Good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. I'm looking through my, my papers over here. Here's a piece of... Okay. So we're making a flip-flop and so we've folded it in half and we're going to go ahead and fold it so that there's a little bit of a gutter to one side. See that right there? So, and then for this one, I'm actually going to glue it. And this is going to attach to the flip-flop flap. So it's a true flip-flop. It's literally going to flip-flop when you open the flap. Okay. So this gives you, we've done our envelope as an envelope pocket. And now we're adding our envelope here. Actually, your envelopes, to, your envelopes just had to be an envelope. Couldn't, it could be anything. So I'm showing you three different ways to use it. We're going to use an envelope on the flap of a flip-flop. So if you have a spot where you've used some of your paper pad and made a flip out, 
area like this. Then you can take your paper, just set it in there on the glue, and there you have your flip flap flap. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, do this. So I'm thinking find something around here that we can cut a circle. Okay, and then I'm going to just glue this circle down. There he goes being being his no, noisy self. He hates it when he's inside and daddy's out. It's like but he he doesn't if if the lawnmower's going or the the water, he, he's gotta chase it. Okay, so I have this string here. Whoop from my binding string and just because there happened to be a little hole down here I was like you know what I think I'm going to go ahead and tie this off just making a little tied off closure okay and then this will just come up and around no big deal, just up and around, okay? And I don't think this needs to be as long as it is. Okay, so just an up and around. Okay, and then over here, I happen to have this little gizmo. I think we'll go ahead and put that down. Very pretty. Will this fit? Not quite. But it will fit inside here. Okay. And this will come up and around. We'll just get it started. Okay. Um, let's see. I think I'm thinking fabric because I love that fabric. I cannot lie. We just put a little piece of it. Oh, it was also one of the hottest summers. It says right there. <laughs> we'll leave it. Just put that on there. I'm using the gobbledy loop. And this this little piece is down here that we're glue putting the glue on. That was from a photo album, a vintage photo album. You gotta come all the way over because um, it's on a fold. Okay. Okay, so there's that. We added the fabric, we added the little dot, and the doily. So we added our three items. And that will just go like that. And let's see. Have our little hole punch. Hole punch of that. 
and come over here and I think we'll hole punch from here. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and put glue on one side of this heart. So one of the hearts cut out two. Put the gob just use the gobbledy glue. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and come down here, put that down the center, put the other one on. And there, we've got that cute little, little dangly. Okay. I love it. Okay, so the other thing that we had, we had our double tuck over here, and we stuck an envelope in our double tuck right here. So, um, again, just can just... Uh, Go ahead and decorate. This one says Thrive. I love that. And we have the mother's song down here. Let's go ahead and use this. I'm gonna go ahead and rip around it. Okay, so this is from the mini ephemera page. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll come back to this. Holy moly, it's a mess. This desk is a mess. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to go ahead and put the... Another song on here. Okay. So instead of just using an envelope like an envelope, and you can go ahead and use it on the flap like we did. I love it on the flap. Okay, then we're going to come over here and we're just going to cut us this little piece of the fabric. We're just going to continue the collaging that we had going on and add in this little piece of the fabric. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay. Then down here, and we haven't done one of the teacups. Okay, this it's gonna get hidden. I'm not going to use the teacup down here, but I can use that cute little flower up there. really good the very first day. Okay, we're good there. Good there. There we go. So that was the rub-on from um, Dollar Tree. So we've added our three items on here. Cool. And then let's go here and grab something to go inside. So this is from our cut apart. From the paper pad that I'm using. So close to having, having used this paper pad up. Okay, there we go. 
go. Oh, we've got a little spot outside. Oh, I like that. Little spot on the outside. And then how about Project Life card on the inside? Does it fit? Nope. Too big. Um, well, heck, let's go with another one of these. And you don't have to use these as they are. I mean, literally, you could go ahead and cut that, cut that in just like that. Okay, so that's going to give us something to go inside our double tuck. And we will have used three envelopes. You only need to use one of your envelopes from the, the bases. One envelope base. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Okay, so we had a, a little stencil sitting here. And I thought, you know what? Before, I think we'll just go ahead and put this on a page. I love these. Okay. Oh, do you see what I did? Oh my gosh, I hope it still comes off. Okay. Yeah. Were you all saying, Julie? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're going to put this down. And Go ahead and get a good start, especially on those edges. All the way around. Okay. I thought the teacup would be really fun in a Mother's Day journal. And it matches the fabrics so well. Look there. Isn't that adorable? Isn't that adorable? Okay. So there's that. Love it. Um, you know, I'm looking at this and I want more color on this page. I want more color on this page. Um, It is about it. Okay. Okay. You know, we do have the words. Here, this one says moments. Okay. Um, I don't particularly like the arrow. Okay. So we have that. We can put it down here. We can put it up here. think over here. got something in it. Yay. Okay. What about that with that? Yeah, I like that. Okay. So we have this pocket that we've added. We added a little charm, the tab out here, um, some of the lace, some of the ruffle from the bases that we made. We added this little, um, this here. And then we just stuck one of those in there. We stuck two of them in there. Okay. And then come over to 
to here. We have this little envelope that we made and we have our insert here and an insert here. So a couple places there. Okay, and then we added the other one here. We added it to the flip-flop flap. Okay, so this is going to pull over and give us a true flip-flop. Okay, flip-flop. You got more journaling space here. You have a tuck space you can use here. You have a little spot you can use here. And okay, so if you do that, it it does, it goes under, so that'll be fine. Okay, but that gives us this here that you can write on. Okay, I don't like the the messy cutting, Julie. Clean that up a little bit. Okay, put that in there. So remember, I love pockets and I cannot lie. So there's a pocket here, and then we have a little pocket right here. Let's see. Okay, so we can pull this up, put that right in that pocket, kind of maybe like this. Yeah. Okay, and you pull this up, and we've got our little card here, and ha, it says, Give me a kiss. We'll put that in there. Okay, we've got our little our little rounder here. This is very simple, just going around it, not doing anything extra. And that goes in there. Okay, so flip-flop, and it has the pockets in there. So that's what we did today. Use doing, um, adding our envelopes, and I think that they are a great addition to our all about that base junk journal because remember we started with the bases actually we started with the naked journal then we made the bases and now we're just adding the bases into the journal adding a few more embellishments and there you go so i think this one needs the bigger piece with the more color Ooh, i actually like what do you think yeah I like the color in here. I like the color. I like the color. So this one is a... has a flip over. We could go ahead. It could be decorated and come over. page like this. That's something that we could do. Just looking at what we what, what we have left here. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so these are the pieces from the cover. Okay, these are the pieces from the cover of the paper pad. And we have one here so it gives us that that extra the extra color yeah so which one was your favorite is there one that you haven't ever done before have you ever added an envelope on to a flip-flop flap have you ever made a flip-flop it's one of my favorite things to make is the flip-flop adding in more journaling space just by adding in some lined paper and sometimes I'll do it with just plain paper so it's like I said one of my favorite things to do right there or the envelope here where we've added the tab and made it like totally a part of the page the other thing that we did here that was special is we covered up something that we wouldn't want to see or I don't want to see just somebody's arms in <laughs> in my journal and then we also took care of our double tuck here by adding 
an envelope and then it has a couple of fun fun things that were that we put in there we do this every day at 10 30 pacific standard time and we have a live chat don't forget you can join us by hitting that live chat button come on over say hello we'd love to get to know you and there you go. So I hope um, I hope this camera has done us well. And I hope you find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to go watch one of these videos because it really does help our channel. And I will be putting the video for how I made the envelope bases out of scrappy book pages right up there. Also, don't forget that YouTube's going to pick a video that they think you're going to want to watch. If you go watch any of those, it's really going to be a big help to my channel. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. This is regular, and this is with the telephoto. The mama bird is in there. Isn't that so cool? That's way out. That's normal. That's in. There's the babies.